It feels to me we're at this turning point. Where darkness turns to light. Or that yin yang symbol, right, that has the those swirls. And each of the other is always in the center of the other, right? It's a reflection of that inseparability. And then at the biggest point of one is the tiny start of the other. So when on the outside it's visibly mostly all this, it's, it's the beginning of the shifting of the other. And so one can look at it as movement, but it's also a representation of the whole. And so we can experience the dual parts of it in through the experience, but we can also surrender through into the the larger totality where there isn't separation. In our humanness, in our this aspect of reality that we are embodying and experiencing and living, I kind of experience it as that turning point where everything on the outside looks so insanely bad (laughs) in a certain way. And large movements are happening that the human sensibility responds to in horror. They're doing what? They're choosing what? They're creating what? They're still doing that? You know, it's, it's like, it's shocking, right? So it's like that big darkness on the outside getting bigger and bigger because we're at this turning point is how it registers for me. Like in the beginning of the awakening and wanting to help change the earth and humanity and support, yeah, the dissolving of suffering or, or hatred and seeing that I needed to shift that in me first and then meeting those layers and those collective layers and then seeing, oh, that's how you shift it. That's how you shift the collective, you, sh- you shift this. And that by doing that, it supported that movement collectively and then individually for others. And so doing that inner reflection and surrendering, because we're both individual and the totality, then, then it supports that transformation. And so I don't know, I don't understand enough about this octave of the earth, but it somehow feels resonant with how we have octaves, the earth has octaves, everything has octaves. And something has shifted enough. The best way I can make sense of it is something has shifted enough that that octave of the earth is available to reside in, in this human body. And it's also part of the retreat to support you opening to that level of light in yourself and that level of frequency for you to embody this octave of yourself and to be able to live this and yeah, be that here. As you do that, you also become an acupuncture needle on the planet walking around. There are certain frequencies on the planet that are disruptive or or can be destructive. And if part of my relationship to healing and fixing carries any of those frequencies, I am supporting those frequencies being on the planet. Whereas if I come from a different frequency inside myself, 
It doesn't mean that I don't see what's happening. But the frequencies that come forward are positive, engaging, inclusive, proactive, loving. If I am on the planet judging people as being stupid for creating such insanity, if I am blaming politicians, if I am feeling hatred for the ignorance of others, in those modes, I am in a great perpetuation of those frequencies because it's easy to see, feel that way or be in that when, when you look at the state of things on so many levels. But it's that same thing of when I was realizing if I, if I want to support the resolution of hatred, it has to happen here with everything. If I have hate anywhere, I am supporting hate. Whereas if my consciousness fully resolves through and surrenders that over and over, however long it takes with each whatever nuance, then I as a soul am not perpetuating the collective creation of that frequency. <laughs> 